Hello everyone, welcome to this video on a QQ plot or a quantile to quantile plot. Here we will discuss about what is this plot all about and then solve a numerical to check its working. So the first question that comes to our mind is what is a quantile? Well in our data set, quantile is a percentage of points below a given value, commonly known as a percentile. For example, median is a quantile where 50% of the data fall below that point and 50% lie above it. Now, what is a Q to Q plot or a quantile to quantile plot? Well, it is a scatter plot of two sets of quantiles against each other. A 45 degree angle is plotted on the Q to Q plot. If the two data sets come from a common distribution, the points will fall on that reference line. Here is how it will look like, a QQ plot showing the 45 degree reference line. A QQ plot helps us to answer multiple questions. Whether two data sets come from populations with a common distribution? Do the distributions have a similar shape? If they have common location and scale, and do they show similar tail behavior? Additional advantages of a Q to Q plot would be that it does not mandate an equal sample size and it gives insights on multiple distribution features like shifts in location, scale and symmetry and also the presence of outliers. Let's look at the steps required to make a Q to Q plot. These are very simple steps and they are the first thing we need to do is we need to sort the numbers from smallest to largest. Then we draw a normal curve and divide the curve into n plus 1 segments where n is the sample size that is the number of data points that we would be talking about. Then find the z value for each segment from the z table and finally plot the data set values against the z values and that gives us the Q to Q plot. Now let's work on an example to get a better understanding. We have these nine values with us and need to confirm if they come from a normal distribution. So starting with step one, we would sort them from smallest to the largest. Step two, we will draw a normal distribution curve and divide it into n minus one segments. Since we have 9 values with us, 9 data points with us, so it is 9 plus 1, that is 10 segments in our example. Since each segment is an area here, so each segment is 10% of the total area. Step 3 tells us to get the z values for each segment from the z table, and here it is, the z values. Finally, step 4 where we will plot the data set values against the z values. Did you notice that this Q to Q plot has an almost straight line shooting right through the data points? This indicates that the data is approximately normal. Having said that, I hope that you enjoyed this video and would appreciate the usage of a Q to Q plot or a quantile to quantile plot. Let me emphasize here on the fact that the Q to Q plot can provide more insight into the nature of the difference provided two samples do differ than analytical methods such as the chi-square or the kolmogorov smirnov two sample tests. So with that positive note, thank you so much for watching this video. Please feel free to get back to me with suggestions or queries. Also do share this video with friends and peers and subscribe to this channel to stay updated on future videos. Catch you soon. Bye bye.